hey, check this out. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to devour my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may be encamped around me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise up against me. In this, I will be confident that one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I would behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. In this opening text, David talks about the wicked coming to devour him, armies encamping against him, war rising up against him. And listen, when his heart was tempted with the day of trouble, when his heart started to feel the temptation to fear, he stepped into this reality. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. One thing have I desired. One thing. One thing that he is my one thing. I think about Mary in Luke 7 when she stumbled into the pastor's meeting and she stumbled past all of them. And I just picture in Mary's mind thinking, I've tried this. I've tried that. I wasn't satisfied here. I wasn't delivered there. I was still in need with this thing. But oh, when I met Jesus and she's stumbling in and in the midst of persecution, in the midst of accusation, in the midst of all the things, I feel like she too was dealing with the temptation for her heart to fear, yet her eyes were locked on. No, 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 no. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. And I feel in the room that as we're singing this song, that this song is amazing and it's an anthem and it's something that in the moment you feel the goosebumps and you're like, yes. But the reality is I feel like there's an invitation from the Lord to return back to Jesus and Jesus alone. To return back to Jesus is my one thing. He's my one thing. And I feel like in the room, there's probably several, especially with a young crowd like this, where the temptation comes and your heart starts to say, oh, you should fear. Oh, there's a circumstance. You should be afraid. Oh, war is rising up against you. Pick up arms. Pick up your weapons. Get ready to defend yourself. And there's a reality that you can come back and say, no, no, no. My one thing is Jesus and Jesus alone. My one pursuit is Jesus and Jesus alone. Oh, yeah, I need to remind my mind. Oh, yeah, I need to remind my heart. My life is not my own. But the life I live, I now live to God. And I feel like there's this, this moment that if you've been dealing with the day of trouble, it's been knocking on your door for you to take the eyes of your heart, for you to take the eyes of your mind, to take your physical eyes and look up and say, oh, yeah, my life is not my own. Oh, my life is not my own, but give me Jesus and Jesus alone. Give me Jesus and no other. Give me Jesus and nothing else. For all my hope is in this man. All my needs are in this man. All that I'm looking for is in this man. Every satisfied is satisfied in this man. Everything I'm longing for is in this man. It's in this man. It's in Jesus and Jesus alone. And listen, I want to lead us in this because we can sing the song, but listen, the days of just coming to church and it being Sunday only is over. And listen, I feel the Spirit of the Lord saying, would you return back to me? Would you remind yourself your life is not your own, but the life you live, you now live to God. And so listen, if that's you and that's hitting your heart, I want to invite you right where you're at just to respond by getting on your knees. Like just by getting, especially if you felt the day of trouble coming and you've been swayed and you've been in that wrestle and you've been like, how am I going to defend myself? I feel like there's breakthrough and deliverance in returning to this single place. And so these guys are going to keep singing, but I want, I want to invite you to get on your knees. Yeah, I thank you for the ones that are doing it in the room. And just right there with the Lord, begin to dialogue with him and tell him, Lord, this anthem, Lord, this song, Lord, this prayer, Lord, this me. It's how I want to live my life. It's how I want to root my life. It's how I want to view my life. But listen, you can't do it without him. You can't do it without
without him. And I feel like there's a grace in the room, the empowerment of the Lord to come alongside you and remind you, all my chips are in the basket of him. So Jesus, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you are the anchor for our soul. I thank you, Jesus, that all my needs are supplied in you. I thank you that every satisfaction is you. I thank you that when war rises up against me, I can be confident in give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. When things don't make sense and life is hard and my faith meets friction, I can be confident. that the fullness would be found in you. It's in you, Jesus. It's in you and it's in you alone. I just, I feel this so strongly right where you are. If you're responding to that word, just to begin to tell the Lord, even out loud with your words, Lord, you are my one thing. You're my one thing, Jesus. I just feel 
feel like the Lord is in the room to strengthen and encourage hearts, reminding you, oh, that when your life is not your own, you don't have the pressure of needing to defend it. You don't have to protect yourself. You don't have to provide for yourself. He says, oh, let me remind you that your life is not your own, it's mine. And I hear him saying, I'm really good at defending. I'm really good at pro protecting. I want to pray specifically for those of you, if you feel like, you can, you can use that analogy, the war rise up against you. You feel like you've been in this place, like you could describe it that way. It's almost like there's been a war going on around you that you've been trying to walk through and, and it's just been before you. It's been before you. It could look like a number of things, but just feel like that's good language out of scripture. The war rise up against me. In this, I will be confident. Oh, that he is my one thing. And I feel like if you've been walking through that place of the war, the war is just good language. If that's you, I wanna, I wanna pray for you. I feel like the Lord wants to encourage you. I just feel like there's fresh perspective for you today. Just that deep breath of, oh yeah, my life is not my own. He is my one thing. And so if that's you, would you raise your hand? Yeah, there's several in the room. So can we just surround these guys? And I want to pray for them, but I specifically want to pray for them out of this text. I specifically want to encourage them with the one thing. Oh, I feel like there's just this fresh reminder that your life is not your own, which means you don't have to defend yourself. The war rise up against you. You don't have to pick up arms to fight for yourself. You just look at your one thing, and I feel like there's this strengthening of the Lord. There's the strengthening of the Lord and the Spirit. I feel like he's gonna strengthen with might in the inner man. Okay, one last thing. I wanna pray for, if you're in the room and you're, you've never given your life to the Lord and you feel the beating in your heart, you wanna give your life to the Lord. Um, if that's you, I just want you to put your hands straight up. You feel the beating. Anyone in the room? I'm gonna wait for just a second. If you wanna give your life to the Lord, you're like, man, what is this? And your heart's been beating. It's Jesus who's been calling your heart. You're saying, my, I, I've never lived this way where my life is not my own, but I want to live that way. I want to give my life to the Lord. Is there anyone in the room? I felt in my heart like there's one in the room. Okay. Okay, well, thank you, Lord. I think Sir Beth has a couple words of knowledge she wants to pray for. Was there a hand that went up over here? Yes. Bro, will you come to the front? Will you come pray with me? I'm going to punt the rest of this to my wife, and she's going to pray, but I want to I pray with 
I just felt like when we were singing, all my delight is in you, Lord, I felt like I heard him say, all my delight is in you. And we're saying, you are my one thing. And I felt like he wanted to remind a few of us in the room tonight, all of us, but specifically a few of us that we are his one thing. Like, he's always speaking, he's always moving. So I have a few physical words of knowledge. Um, I went to bed last night with all three of these like issues manifesting in my body, which is not normal. So I feel like the Lord wants to heal this stuff. Um, the first thing is like chronic nausea. If you just, if you feel like you're always nauseous or always dealing with that, go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna call them out and then um, we'll pray at the end. So if that's you, chronic nausea, stand up, yeah. Second thing was neck and shoulder tension. I felt like I saw the Lord like walk up behind us and just massage our necks and do things that like 